before 1965, we are using rupee, rupee is rupees, you know, like Indian rupees, okay? And coins, different coins. There is Anna, there is uh, ring, Ringgit, Ringgit, and the Beza, similar to India, because we are under the British colony uh, that time. So they are, uh, we are using the same currency in India because India, uh, British ruled India for uh, three centuries, I think. Okay, from 17 something to until 19 something. Uh, so they are influenced the, the Gulf as well. In uh, the British influence the Gulf, uh, but the difference they are not. Uh, the ruling is not directly with the people, but through the ruling family, the tribes. Whereas, you know, in India, they are ruling directly. And this is why the Indian, they are good in English. We are not that good in English. <laughs> because they are learned, you know, from the British. Hey, hello. Hello. Uh, yes, sound. Uh, who's uh, fighting? Huh? Okay. And uh, then uh, we had our independence in 1971, but the, the, the government changed the currency into dinars and uh, fels in 1965. Before that, we were using uh, rupee, rupees and uh, peza and, dan, uh, and uh, uh, ana. Okay, uh, so we have uh, 10, uh, 20 notes, 10 notes. That means one dinar equivalent to 1,000 uh, fells, 1,000 fells, one dinar. Now you can see uh, the coin 100 fells, this is equivalent, uh, 10 of this 100 fells uh, coins equivalent to one dinar. One dinar is equivalent to two dollars and uh, and a half or to two, two, two euros and more, a little bit. Uh, also, we have uh, five dinars, we have uh, one dinar, we have uh, half dinars. Before we used to have 100 rupees notes, then they cancel it. And they uh, make, you know, 100 pearls, 50 pearls, coins, 25 pearls and uh, 10 pearls. And five fells, there was uh, also one fells, then cancel, they cancel one fell. Okay, next. This is the, uh, the harbor, I think Muharraq here in Muharraq Harbor, the port, uh, because people of Bahrain, they are uh, fishermen, some of them, they are uh, they like, you know, the sea, uh, they go for catching fish and they sell it as well. This is for earnings, you know, they're, uh, and because we are uh, an island, so we are open to the sea and uh, also pearling as well. We used to do pearling. Our grandfathers, you know, they used to go and uh, diving for this. This is very risky job diving for pearls. And when, so once, you know, Bahrain discovered the, the oil in 1932, the people gave up this uh, job and they, they uh, joined, you know, oil companies to work because this is a, a good uh, payment, you know, for them and salary instead of this uh, pearling, which is very tough and uh, they, do you know how long they are staying in the sea? Four months and 10, imagine four months and 10 days away from their family, okay? So the mother or the, the wife, she's taking the whole uh, things, you know, homework, you know, alone for the children, feeding the people, for the grandfathers, mothers, aunts, whatever. So it is very tough in the old times. They are next. This is also some ships uh, or Dao ships, traditional Dao's. They are next. 
also this is in the C. Yeah. Okay, next. Yeah, maybe you can talk a little bit about the Dow building, uh, because I think this is in Muharraq, uh, the, the shipyard of, for the Dow's in Muharraq, right? Yeah, the Dow building yard uh, we have in Muharraq as well, next to the fisherman port. And they are building, you know, not like before, building for pearls, for the cargo uh, ship, or for traveling. So they are build, uh, they are on request, they are building a ship because it, it takes time and uh, costly as well. Uh, they, they use, you know, the teak wood, you know, imported from India or Africa. They have Maranti. They have different type of woods uh, uh, for the body of the ship. And uh, they use also uh, machines, you know, for the power for moving, you know, this ship. And other materials uh, <clears throat> like, you know, the long uh, nails also for the body, fixing, you know, the, 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 the boards on site, both sides, uh, imported from India or Oman as well. And uh, this is about the Dow building. Okay, next, uh, Kai. And this is also the Dow? This, this is one. also one chef, you know, and that's one. still not finished, I think, yeah, next. Uh, this is uh, this is a show waiter suite, huh? Twitter, huh? yeah, the sweet shop, yes, yeah. yes. Okay, Shweter family, they are making this halwa, we call it halwa in Arabic. Uh, they are making more than 150 years, they are making this halwa. Uh, originally, some they say from Iraq and some they say from Oman and some they see from India as well. Uh, India, uh, we are uh, mixed, we have mixed culture actually with, uh, with India. Why? Because from Dilmun time civilization, which is we are talking about 4,000 years, 5,000 years ago, we are uh, trading between you know, India and uh, Bahrain uh, or Dilmun and uh, Indus Valley. Indus Valley, which is part of Pakistan, Afghanistan and India. This is all in those valleys, beyond the, 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 the valley or the river. And uh, now I think the old names for Indos, I think Milocha, Milocha name. And there is some cities, old cities like Haripa in Pakistan is still there. And uh, uh, Mahanda, Mahanda Jaro, Mahanda Jaro, also in, uh, in uh, I think India, right? Uh, no, uh, Mahanda Daro is in Pakistan. In Pakistan. And yes. Latia, Latia, Lata, Lata. There is another city, old city in India, I think. Lata. Tata, you mean to say? No, no, L, L. We start with L. Lata. That's, Latia. In, that's in India. Yeah, India, Lata. That's, huh? right. that's an old one. <clears throat> that's right. So we have a mixed culture. We have taken from India. Maybe they have taken from us. The, we have taken the embroidery, we have taken the biryani food, we have taken the jalabi or zalabia, we say zalabia, the sweet, we, the, you call it the jalabi, right? It's called jalabi and, in Hindi. Yeah, we, we say, we call it zalabia. That's right. You know, sweet. You can find it in, the, in this shop, the sweet shop as well. And uh, the textile for the ladies, you know, uh, with the embroidery and uh, uh, the gold as well, goldsmith have taken. And uh, we are now become unique, you know, in Bahrain, this thing, you know, it becomes only for Bahraini now. I think it's more better than the other in India as well, the, the decoration for the the gold, whatever. Now, the best gold in the world is Bahraini gold. It is a carat 21, right? There is Indian, but I think uh, 24, I think Indian gold. It's mixed with other things. 
Correct me, Mrs. Gaukar. Uh, I think 24 <laughs> in Pakistan also. Huh? And uh, Mr. Rinpoche also say that uh, I think 24 is the highest than 21. Yeah, that's available no, in 24, Dubai. 24. 24 carat. Yes, that's 24 right. carat is also there. Yeah, yeah, yeah but uh, Bahraini gold is uh, guaranteed by government. But other countries, they're not guaranteed. You know, maybe, you know, there is fake or something, you know, mix. You don't know what is it. It has a brand, you know, has a stamp on it, you know, our Bahraini gold. This is why it's famous world, 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 worldwide. By the way, we have three things which is famous in Bahrain worldwide. The gold, the horses, Arabian horses. What's the third one? Maybe Mr. Abdul Aziz. <laughs> uh, uh, the dates? No, no. Maybe the pearls? Uh, the rain pearls. The, the pearls, yeah, the pearls. Pearls, you know, pearls is uh, history is 5,000 years ago. Okay, we are talking about five, from Dilmon time, Greek time, and uh, Islamic time. Okay, the pearls as well. Bahraini pearls world, 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 worldwide, it is famous because the quality and the, the bed, uh, oyster, oyster beds, you know, in the sea, why it is, has unique, you know, this, because it is created in uh, mixed water, the sweet water and the salt water. And this gives, you know, the quality of Bahraini pearls, shiny and uh, very good quality. Uh, what else? Anything else we have, or that's all? Yeah, no, no. Uh, the coffee shop. Uh. Okay, coffee shop. This is traditional one. And uh, maybe you think you are drinking coffee? No, this is called coffee shop, kahwa. But there you will. Uh, it's like restaurant to have uh, your breakfast in the morning, to have your lunch in the in the noon time, and to have your dinner in the, at night. Also, people are sitting there, the retired people, big people, old people, chatting uh, and uh, playing, you know, the carom, dame, dame, dame uh, domino, chess sometimes, uh, and also cards. That's it. This is the games, you know, the carom, you know, carom. This is the Indian one That's right. we have taken from you, from India. And uh, it is a very typical place, you know, to sit and very nice. Uh, enjoy your time, you know, sitting and eating, you know. Your, uh, you, you, you will have tea, tea with milk, red tea and tea with mixed with milk. Cooked together, not separate. Like, you know, the British, they do, you know, milk and they add milk. Uh, tea and they add milk. No, here they are cooking like Indian style. Not karak, but different than karak. Okay. And yeah, any other picture next? Yeah, of course, from the hobbles. Yeah? Okay, this is local bakery. Today I've been there. This is a hot picture. I have taken this morning, noon time, because I had a tourist with me, an American one. Uh, uh, husband and wife, and uh, they really enjoy it. We I took them first to the Bahrain fort. They want to see the uh, uh, history of Bahrain. And then we came to Moharai. And we just walking on the way and we passed this. They bought you know, some uh, marble also from another shop. Uh, it's a costly about maybe cost them uh, 10 dinars total. It's like a square with the different design and like mosaic, mosaic, yeah. And this uh, bakery, they are uh, making, you know, baked uh, bread. You can have it, you know, hot and eat it. And he made one for us, you know, here with cheese. And we really cut it in, he cut it into two, four pieces and we eat it together and they enjoy it. Okay, this is the, the beautiful of uh, local things, you know, here we have traditional. 
usually uh, during the not the last year we lost year because of the coronavirus everything is stopped no economy no business nothing no tourists uh, the cruise ship was stopped so before last year which is uh, 2019 we we've been uh, we are taking you know tourists from the cruise ship coming in a group in a big coach and big bus you know maybe more than 30 40 person together walking around in the in the street of the Bar- Maharag market or in the Manama market as well under the bubble Bahrain and they pass all these places shops you know like a spicy shop like a bakery like coffee shops like any other uh, shops and they enjoy they eat you know this hot uh, bread from the bakery, fresh one from the oven. Anything else? Yeah, only the, the inside of the bakery where the people are working and yeah, with the- they're, they're dough, you know, they are making the dough and they make it, you know, pieces, uh, uh, a round piece, and then they press it with that, uh, what you call, you know, the round uh, uh, wooden thing to make it, you know, bigger and then this one. bake it inside in the, in the oven yeah. to get the, uh, Uh, here I just want to add one thing that the ministry yeah. is very strict about the food uh, the food uh-huh. uh, like they check uh, and uh, many uh, restaurants are banned if they don't follow like um, the next day the food cannot be served and uh, uh-huh. they have a very mixed, uh, strict uh, rules in Bahrain so rest mm-hmm. assured that if you are coming as a tourist or you're bringing tourists here in Bahrain uh, the the ministry is really done a terrific job. This is the old yes, Bahrain, yes. Uh, which Mr. Aziz is giving, uh, but we will give you the transform in the next meeting, how Bahrain is come up equal to, you can call it a second Dubai. And, uh, but this time just uh, taste the flavor of Mr. Aziz, how he's described. Okay. Uh, I think uh, I have uh, completed, you know, or finished, you know, my, my uh, speech or my lecture. If there is any question, the floor is yours. You can ask any questions, you are most welcome. It was, it was a quick uh, uh, lecture because there is no time, you know, 